What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Craftosaurus and welcome back to another gameplay episode of Jurassic World's Evolution. So, you know, the last time we were here, we were trying to set up the enclosure for the Catchosaurus and hopefully try to bring in Polacanthus, which uh, apparently there's going to be a bit of a social and population issues in order to go through with this one, because if we actually you go under here for a second you know we could you know, tell that according to its social needs well it's not that quite like good as it looks and plus since there are no genes we could research in order to help us modify this situation so hmm yeah that's gonna be quite of a problem but, however though, it's not just the polo campus we have to worry about, it's that, you know, we need to you know, resume our you know, creation with the, uh, uh, well, catch of swords, and, plus, we're going to have to you know, put the Uapocephalus from this enclosure to this one as well, and believe me, yeah, there's a real good reason why. But before we actually release the uh, Cantrosaurs, we just need to place down the uh, uh, Paleo Feeder first. Hmm, which I guess we could try, like, right? Hmm. Well, okay, you know what, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to be able to, like, you know, good thing it was done on the white, but, you know what? Nah, maybe, like, right there, just for the... A jeep just go by. Uh, whoa. Hmm. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> All right, so uh, hmm. Yeah, we just and I just haven't realized that I don't even have an ACU center. Oh no. Which means I can't transport the <laughs> dinosaurs. <sighs> well, man, no, oh, can you believe it? It's so freaking embarrassing. I didn't even thought of it before. Huh. But, uh, well, then, hmm. Well, I guess I could try to put it, like, right there for now. And let's see if I can try to build a path away from here to there. Oh boy. Uh. Yeah. Hold on. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I did on a curve level anyway. <laughs> oh! And, uh. Well, okay. <laughs> that uh, takes care of that. <laughs> uh, okay, now. Just. Wait a minute. How much power do I even have left anyway? Oh, okay. So got plenty. Alright. Um, no. I'll probably just go with this regular substation. Because it's... Because I'm... will be... Needing the... The, uh, poly... Oh, well, what you call it? <laughs> yeah, okay, since I can stretch it all the way from there so all right so now that we finally got an ACU center up and running hmm let's see so just gotta add on that and that and that and this and finally that hmm. let's see so uh, I guess I'll worry about the skins later, but... <sighs> but first, though, you know, we just need to choose the plants that we need. Uh, let's see, so, if I remember correct, the, uh... We just need the pawpaws and the... the what else, what else, what else? Uh, oh, mosses! Pawpaws and mosses. That's what we just need. And then nothing more. Hmm. 
All right, so we just go like over here and whoops. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I feel like we're going to have to like. Uh, hmm. You know. Uh, maybe unless if I could try to grow yet another uh, greenhouse, maybe that'll probably help me out just a little because we still have have more uh you know, feet dinosaurs I want to bring down anyway. Now uh let's see if I could try to go under here and hmm. Wait. Oh what? Only one per island? That's it? Ouch. Huh. Okay, well that's a little unfortunate. Hmm. <sighs> oh boy, so I guess we're just going to replace these the tree ferns and let's see. Um Well so it's off the end, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm going out to replace these two plants. <sighs> wow. Man, not even uh, plant bed capacity 3.0 could really help me out with this one, huh? <laughs> Alright, uh, while we're waiting for those, we just we need to, like, uh, hmm. Now, for the Polycanthus, this one's going to be a little tricky. Since it doesn't require you know, a lot of members of its herd. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I know. Well, I've already bought it here before, but I just want to be sure. Hmm. Let's see. So, only three members of its kind, and population six, so. Hmm. Unless we could try to sell one of the, uh, uh, Aronosaurus. Which, I guess we could try to get Red number four, so <sighs> acknowledged. <sighs> well, I know. No, we're just doing this for the matter of science. But uh, as much as I really do want to try to make it look like a theme park as well. For which <laughs> we all know this is not gonna be easy as it seems. <laughs> but hey though. Now that we got an ACU center, we could actually... Uh... Wow. Jeez. Unbelievable. <laughs> Can't believe it's so... Taking it up a lot of time. Huh. <sighs> Boy. Yeah, as much as... Both the, uh... Iwapalocephalus and the... Hmm. Wait. Um. Wait a minute. Hmm. How many members of this kind of. Oh! What's this? Oh! Wait, have I already known that or did I just forget? Hmm. You know, yet again. Hmm. Uh, you know, change of plans. Huh. Well, now that we actually got our very own own Kentrosaurus out of the field, I think I got yet another idea. I know, I. It should have probably waited, but uh, let's see what we got. And there we go, one papa and a bunch of mosses and <laughs> I know this is not gonna be as easy as it looks, but uh, change of plans now. We're going to have to like work on polar canthus for a little while. 
we're going ahead to add the Apollo Canthus into the Cantrosaurus exhibit. <laughs> Not sure why, but uh, it's just a little hunch. <laughs> hmm. Quite amazing. It actually, mostly has some defensive genes. All right. Oh. Ah. Okay, here we go. Wait. Uh-oh. I think we have a bit of a problem with the well. Oh, oops. Okay. Yeah, instead of putting the polycanthus here, I guess we're just going to have to put them over here because right now, this depends on the matter of science. <laughs> and yeah, I can tell it is definitely going to take a little while just to really get things done. But, in the meantime, let's see if we can try to continue to work on the uh, yeah, fossils for now. Or better yet, the uh, DNA of these creatures, just in case. Because, let's just face it, looks like, like that 90% is actually just good enough. Hmm. Sorry, I, didn't find the device right. I wasn't talking to you, Alexa! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know what? In the meantime, might as well research a couple of these, just to be sure. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's, it's missing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry about that little one. Or, should I say, big fella? <laughs> Alright. Well, everything seems to be. Uh oh! And I just realized I didn't even put water in. Alright, if we. I don't. A little bit of a lake over here, like so. There we go. <laughs> All right, that should do it. Hmm. Okay. Well. Uh oh. Oh dear. Which one? Yikes! Palm trees. Oh my God. This is so not gonna go too well. Uh. Okay. I guess I can. Place the pawpaws with the tree ferns. Wow. Yep, I can tell. This is definitely not going to go easy. <sighs> well, I know, like, most of the carnivores here are not that bit of a problematic thing at all. Hmm. <sighs> now, um, hmm. Alright, Okay, well, the research for that's done, and. Yep. Oh! Okay, I guess we do have plenty of polar cathodes in the after all. <laughs> okay, uh. Yep, and. Well, that should do it! Unless if those. Hmm. Well, I guess just in case if we do run out, <laughs> run low on money on this island, then yeah, I guess we sh should be ready to go. Hmm. Building upgrades. Oh, you know what? Let me check out the buildings themselves. Hmm. Well, maybe yeah. Again, it wouldn't probably hurt just to add in like. Uh, Oh, you bunch of, uh, well, amenities, or, well, huh, I don't even know what to think of anymore. But, uh, oh, wait, hmm, did I even miss one? Oh, right, the, hmm. Okay, so, please tell me those palm trees are, are tree ferns. It's just to... Oh, boy. Yep, I have a bit of science pressure over here. 
bots, which is so not fun. Okay, now let's bring Polycanthus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Well, the same there, uh, thanks to the Hammond Foundation. Still not even close to completing the first one. Uh oh. And we got a stick dinosaur in our hands. Alright, let's see, what's the problem? Understood. There we go. Alright, so. I think now that we totally got this on the. Oh, you know what? I'll probably just hire another ranger team just to hopefully fill in the uh, situation for now. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's see if we could try to like add in in the uh let's see. No diseased dinosaur is detected. Hmm. No, good thing it could be. It got me. Uh you know what? Yeah, like we could try to put uh, that one over there and maybe this Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I guess I... Okay, gotta get rid of that artificial tree. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, let's see. Just gotta connect the path just like so. Eh, got to get rid of that tree, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, geez, I don't know how you everyone, but this is really not going too well for me. Hmm. Alright. Oops. Ah, uh, hold on. There we go. Alright. Cool. Alright, so now that we only got one more objective to complete, which hopefully I can try to get done be before that before, before this video comes to a close, which <sighs> yeah. Well, at least since all the dinosaurs are now, uh, are completely satisfied. Now we just, oh, you know what? Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, let's see, power. Yeah, I guess I'll do that just in case. Yeah, yeah. The guy I managed to put down like yet yeah, another power station, or else things were. Really turn up, turn for the worse. Uh, you know what? Yeah, just a small substation one here. All right. Hmm. You know what? You know what? Come to think of it, I should really have a look on something. Uh oh. Oh dear. Yeah. I guess more people are really starting to come. So, let's see. If I could try to put down a hotel somewhere, maybe that should... And there is no room to put down a hotel whatsoever. <sighs> Man, these freaking buildings are so freaking huge. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Man, who knew that artificial trees could actually get in the way? Alright, there we go. Hmm. Whoa! Jeez, <laughs> unbelievable! <laughs> Man, who knows how many substations I really need to put down?
All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Jeez. Ay, ay, freaking. All right. So since we made the video, uh, 300. Hundred. Uh, wow. Hmm. No. Let me take a look at the transport rate for a second. Let's see. Seventy-eight percent. Wait, eighty percent. Huh. Hmm. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt just to and like a a couple more buildings throughout the park, which I should have probably done a while ago. Hmm. Okay. You know, it's a good thing. These very two buildings right here actually kind of do make a good amount of profit when you, if you put them in the right spot, so... Hmm. Let's see, so... Okay, so to get the road okay with the food and the drinks in this area. Let's see, souvenirs should be good. Uh, having fun. Oh, huh, okay, so, oh, there we go, uh-oh, yeah, yeah, I know the Popeye do need to bring back, hey, wait, you know, wait a minute, uh, let's see, uh, finders. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, no. Maybe I should probably make a quick uh, change to the feeders. Let's see. Uh, moving. Damn. Uh, oh, now the... Whoa! Wow! I'm... Wow! Huh! Incredible! We actually have our very first storm! Man! You know, for a while, not even a single storm actually we have managed to, like, uh... Made it through the... Hmm. Jeez! Uh, whoa! Kind of looks like a heavy one. <gasps> oh no! Da, da, da. So much for complete sanctuary! <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Wow! <laughs> Guess I should have seen this one coming. Uh, man, out of all freaking, jeez. Uh, a twister. It had to be a literal twister. Jeez. Wow. Really, Claire? Did you really have to go with this island? I'm mean, like, <laughs> you obviously had to know what the weather conditions were going to be like here. Ooh! Wow! Man, you could hear all that whole lot of banging, right? <laughs> oh no, jeez. What a mess! Well, it was worse. You see, all bits of swords is actually you can go started to go on a complete rampage. I better hurry and tranquilize the girl before she's gonna plan to break out. And too late. Holy cow! 
Yeah, it was a good thing I didn't even put down the T Rex and the. Uh, well, that was a good thing I didn't put down the T Rex or the, the Velociraptor yet, <laughs> or else things would have gone very, very badly. Both agree that without the Hammond Foundation, none of this would be here. So we should be glad to pay a slight increase in our fees. Of course, I don't have them, so <laughs> it's going to be just you saddled with this bill. But I think I can speak for both of us when I say it's something we're willing to do. Oh. You know, I just realized that I speak for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you think so? <laughs> Ow. Holy freaking cow. What? What the? Attacking fence? Overpopulation? What? Whoa, 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 hold on a minute. I could have sworn that their population actually calls for only six mem... Well, six species. Well, six dinosaurs, no? Wow. Man. Yay. Well, then we're doing okay at first. <laughs> Holy freaking cow. Man. Yep. <laughs> Why is it? Uh, wow. Holy cow, everything is going like completely haywire. Hmm. Destructed? Jeez. Well, I don't see what the heck could be in the way, but. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I should have seen this one coming, huh? <laughs> uh, well, thanks a lot, Claire, for not telling me that there's going to be a whole bunch of... Hmm. Yeah, I guess this one will work. Hmm. Holy cow. Uh... Let's see. Wow. Still need to... to <sighs> wow. Um, no, honestly, I have no clue of what to say. Yeah, not only all the dinosaurs have been, been broken loose. In fact, it's quite amazing that these guys need actually broken as well. Okay, uh, let's see. Alright, time to get these guys back inside until we figure this whole little mess out. <laughs> and why do I hear more thumping? Oh my god, that is a one unhappy Albertosaurus! Yeah, I think I should probably think about replacing that fence with a concrete fence. Now that I know that storms are going to make their way towards to the island. Hmm. Yeah, again, I do have a lot of power. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Alright, time to really reinforce these fences. Aha! There we go! Now that Albertosaurus shouldn't go anywhere. And... Oops! Did I forget fence? Oh my god. You know, I can't even keep on telling them just to keep repairing those fences. And the uh, whole captains are, have already been delivered, so... I got hurry before they're gonna... Why not break them? Oh, phew. Ah, confidence is high, and your operation is running smoothly. Perhaps I was wrong about you. Oh, believe me, I'm always on my toes. That's when it comes to, oh well, dinosaur breakouts.
<sighs> wow. Um, okay, well, apparently that, uh, that didn't exactly go a little too well. Mm. I guess the sword must have made these, these ankylosaurs or there's uncomfortable, which probably explains everything, but, uh, yeah, um, right, I kind of apologize for, like, what has happened throughout this park so far, and let's just hope it would happen the same way as it did before, and hopefully we should be able to get at least enough money just to really meet our demise, so we're just going to have to end the video right here for now, so Thank you so much for watching today's video, ladies and gentlemen, and hopefully we should be able to bring out the T-Rex and the Velociraptor in a very time soon, which, yes, I am going to try to build it with electrified concrete fences because they are very dangerous animals, and since now that we actually now know that storms will hit this island, so hopefully Everything will still go out, so if you really did enjoy this video, then be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome um, Jurassic videos like this. And be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter and hit the little bell to get notified about my newest and latest videos. And I'll be seeing all of you lovely people within the next, next episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Peace out.